good TV. <laughs> <laughs> Incest by WWE. <laughs> it's great TV. Oh, dear okay. God. Because I guess I'm the Katie Vick something. thing was great TV, too, then, huh? Somewhere in America, that has happened. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that. We got to keep moving on. Talk about some wrestling here. Bailey versus Nia Jax this weekend. Bad blood oh, in Atlanta. Oh, my baby mama. Yeah, your baby mama. <laughs> Who's going to win this match? Uh, Teddy, we got Nia Jax with the belt right now. Listen, listen, let me tell you something right now. Don't even worry about asking me who's going to win this match. My baby mama, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be paying child support soon. You know, I'm going to consider that match because <laughs> Bailey and Nia Jax, uh, for whatever reason, they work together. There's something between the two of them that I like. There is a chemistry there. So I'm looking forward to that match on uh, Bad Blood coming up this weekend. And the other thing, too, uh, you know, La Naya, you know, people, they wonder, you know, why I say my baby. But Naya is just a sweetheart of a girl, yeah. man. I've known her so long, so long, and she's always been so respectful and, you know, just a great person. So, uh, great job. Uh, I, killer I, gimmick, Teddy. Just go ahead. Killer gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she's nice now, but she can, that, hey. that nice can turn into. <laughs> yeah, don't piss her off. <laughs> no, don't piss her off now. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> hey, look, uh, did you have a chance to see Raw, uh, The Miz turning heel this past uh, Monday night? No, I didn't get a chance to see that, but I want to comment on the ending there, the uh, thing there that they had at the end where the ring collapsed and everything. I thought that was so well done, man. Yeah, it well, you was jumped just ahead of me way ahead, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I just wanted to mention that. No, I didn't get I did hear about Miz, but I didn't get a chance to see that. But let me speak on that. Miz didn't have to turn heel. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Miz was already a heel. You okay. know what I'm saying? So Miz just now they just made him more comfortable. Yeah, I, the Miz can work in any situation. In the, he's kind of like uh, you were talking about Chris Jericho a while ago. The Miz is quite the same way. He can play face or heel. You can turn him on a dime, and he is ready to go. And oh, I, I love I love the Miz, man. I remember him back when uh, he was in the Deep South. You know, when he oh, yeah. first got started and everything, man. So me and him have always been cool, man. He has a beautiful family, man. Whatever Miz does, it turns to go. You know, uh, I saw just before we came to air, too, that The Miz and Maurice uh, are selling their home. So, Teddy, if you want to buy that, I'll send you the uh, information. It's only uh, $12 million. Oh, that's all it is? Oh, it. I it's thought there were million. million. Nah, <laughs> nah there's got to be more than that for me. I'll only nah. take it if it's $50 million. Man, I, got, I can't imagine what these guys are getting paid nowadays. I mean, they must be making a killing. Well, they have other guy gigs on the side too, you know. Oh, they're yeah. doing, you know, they maybe getting a check from wrestling and then other endorsements and other stuff that they're allowed to do, you know. So, uh, just it's all about saving your money, man. You know, get you know if you'd have had a good time with drugs and alcohol, then and you survived it, then let it go. Okay, it's time for you to enjoy the rest of your life, save your money, and and have a good time, man. And thank yeah. God, you know, for blessing you. You know, and the Miz is one of those people too that. Uh, <laughs> Whatever he does seems to turn to gold. You know, he's just one of those guys. But more than just a wrestler, he is a good company spokesperson for WWE. He goes to all the major things and speaks and does things that you don't even see on TV. Uh, his value for WWE is probably one of the best in the building uh, when it comes to what you get out of The Miz. Um, I know it. Yep. You think you know all the wrestling stories? There's more you haven't heard yet. Join us on Backstage Pass. Let me ask you about this, Teddy. We have not discussed this. Uh, we didn't have a chance last week uh, because of uh, the storm, and we didn't get to record last week, so we missed a week, uh, which is the first time since we started that it even happened. Um, but we didn't have a chance to talk about the Netflix documentary on Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon, uh, and... I, I want to get your opinion on that. Have you seen any of it yet? Well, I haven't had a chance to see it. I, in fact, last night I was trying to put Netflix on on my TV. I pulled it up, but then they was talking about I had to pay. So, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You got to pay for uh, Netflix. Uh, yeah, it's it's like oh, a nine dollars so. a month or something like that. Yeah, but, you know, so I may do that. I just don't like putting my well, don't don't waste your money for this card. documentary. Well, I mean, I might need Netflix for something else. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, but. Yeah. I think there's a card you can buy in Walmart, like a Netflix card or something like that, and then I'll use that. I don't like I don't put my personal information out. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This uh, documentary, and, and don't waste your money if you if you're just wanting to watch Mr. McMahon because uh, it, that was a very for somebody who follows wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan, it was probably the most boring thing you have watched and wondered how you lost six hours of your life watching what you already knew because they told you basically how they built the WWE. It wasn't about Vince McMahon per se. It was more about the WWE and how it was built. So what they said they were going to give you, you didn't really get. Now, for the people who don't like wrestling, who've never really kept up with it, they probably watched it and thought, man, this is crazy. So, you know, maybe, maybe it did some good. I just thought well, it was yeah, one of the worst because things I've seen. Because you see, what, what you got to understand, there are a lot of people that are a lot like you and I. They're not smart to the business. Yep. So a lot of this stuff is they seen was maybe brand new to them, or maybe they saw it, but still didn't understand. You know, you gotta be in this to know what this is all about. You can't be in this no five or six, seven years either. You don't learn nothing no. then. It takes a moment, and I'm just so glad I was blessed to stay in it a long, long time to really learn the game. So uh, like I said, what's probably that stinks to us is probably good to, to, to other people. Yep. One of the things that came up in this, too, was a, uh, a story that Vince confirmed that they were going to do a storyline with Stephanie, where Stephanie was going to be pregnant, and the father was going to be Vince. <laughs> what in the hell was he thinking? Ah, <laughs> Teddy, well, I, mean, I know you've heard this. What did you think when you heard it? Good TV. <laughs> <laughs> Incest by WWE. <laughs> it's great TV. Oh, dear okay. God. Because I guess I'm the Katie Vick something. thing was great TV, too, then. Huh? Somewhere in America, that has happened. I can imagine. That, I mean, he would have had to make it comical at some point, and Vince probably would because he's anytime, doing comedy. Anytime a man would blow himself up and have his own funeral, he'll do anything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie, by the way, uh, she did comment on it, and she said that uh, it was brought to her, and she said, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't get mad at him. He was trying. Hey, he's It's a story. But, he, but, but that what makes him a real heel. I mean, now you think about that. If they'd have pulled that off, think how many people would have hated him. Well, but they oh, never, God, they never would have forgave Stephanie either. <laughs> right, and then, like I said, then that might have been really a bit too much. You know what I mean? That might have killed his audience and maybe did some harm to some advertisers or something. So that might have been a bit too much. But yeah. Vince is one of those guys, you know what I mean? He'll try it, you know, it, to see, see what happens. And he knows it ain't real, but let's see if they'll buy it. It's TV. That's what he keeps telling everybody. It's TV. Another comment that he made on the documentary was uh, Vince talking about Chris Benoit. Uh, he said, quote, the doctor came up with this ridiculous statement of, okay, here's why Chris Benoit did this. There was some sort of trauma to his head and things were shown where Chris would just dive off the rope and hit someone with his head. Basically saying it had nothing to do with head trauma. It was just Chris going crazy. Any thoughts on that, on the comments he made about Chris? Well, the doctor don't have a clue. I agree. Okay, I mean, he knows his job and he knows what he's supposed to do, but to sit and say that, then that tells me you don't know too very much. Uh, we got, you know, you and I and probably who else, you know, people that are in the business, we kind of know what went down and kind of know what happened. So what he's talking about don't even make any sense. I, I, you I, know, I, how, I, because you hit somebody with your head, I mean. Yeah, and I think the thing, too, and, and I kind of got the impression that maybe Vince was trying to be sarcastic because anybody who knows the headbutt that he's talking about that Chris used to do from the you know, from the ropes down on somebody else, he wasn't actually clacking his head against somebody else. So the doctor to say, well, he kept hitting people with his head just tells you that he didn't understand what he was watching, and that's probably why Vince made that comment. And I don't blame and, him because that's the way he and probably, and probably with this bit, and nobody ever smartened the doc up. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, they all they had to do is tell him to watch as he goes right here. He'll never touch him. Yep. But nobody's no, smart to yeah, knock up. I'm not going to sit in the ring and let him do a headbutt on me that from that far up and crash my head. Hell, you'd have two people in the ring probably knocked out cold if that were true. Yeah, you use your you use your common sense. God, yes. Well, that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, uh, any uh, history with Pete Rose? We lost him recently, and uh, he's a WWE Hall of Famer. And, of course, a uh, he's not in the Hall of Fame in the uh, baseball uh, category, but one hell of a baseball player as well. Any memories with Pete Rose? I never did meet him. 
No, I wasn't sure if you were there during the time of him and Kane and all the craziness where he tombstoned uh, Pete Rose. I might have been there, but I, I don't know. I, I, but I, I never met him. But I, I remember enjoyed, all those stories they had, uh, those uh, things with him and Kane. I enjoyed the days when uh, the WrestleMania was with a lot of uh, celebrities and people like that. You don't really see that like you did in the beginning. You know, in the beginning, we had Aretha Franklin and Liberace. You had sports stars. The place was packed with stars. Do you know why they got away from that? Did they Did they just eventually say, we don't need it anymore? Or? Well, yes, it costs money. And plus yep. now, they don't need them. Yep, the, was, those, the big stars now are, are, ask, are calling them trying to get on WrestleMania. <laughs> Heck yeah, there are people who want to get on there just for the exposure from exactly. WrestleMania. Yeah. Seth Rollins made his return to Monday Night Raw. Uh, of course, he came in and cost Big Bronson Reed uh, the last monster standing match against Braun. I did see that. That, tell me tell me about the match. You were talking about that a while ago. Tell me what you thought about the match. First of all, the two guys beat the ever-living hell out of one another. Yes, what a great match, man. I mean, they had a great match. And I mean, the thing where they, they dived on all the security guards and stuff, yep. and that was laid out perfect. And I was going to say, Teddy, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm glad you brought that up, though. That was something I did want to talk about. That, for the first time in a long time, I'm not a fan of somebody diving off the top rope and onto people down below that are waiting for them because it doesn't look real. When I saw that last night, the way that the action was happening outside the ring and they kind of moved over in that direction, you did not see it coming. It was perfectly laid out last night. That's why you have rehearsals. Yes, yes. I'm glad somebody <laughs> caught that because that is that, that is a big thing with a lot of people you, where you see a bunch of guys just standing there waiting to catch. And it's right. stupid. If you can well, make it look like it just happenstance, then it's good. Well, see, they didn't rehearse it. You yep. see what I mean? So what those guys did, they went out, they rehearsed that before it ever even happened. Everybody knew where they were supposed to be and everything. So that's what Vince would always do. I love rehearsals because yep. he didn't rehearse everybody. He just like that, like that last night's main event, that that's yep. something you would rehearse all that, that they're going to do to make sure the timing and everything is right. And the collapse of the ring, man, that was just, uh, that was just great. Yeah, you know, we've seen that maybe two other times over the years of the ring collapsing. And uh, when that happened last night, again, another change in the ring collapsing. I, I was trying to figure out why uh, Braun or Bronson, I can't remember who was doing it, but they were throwing the referees or the security into the ring that they had just beat up. And they're all laid out in the ring so that when the, when the uh, canvas of the entire ring collapsed, it wasn't just the two wrestlers. There were like five or six people all laid out in the ring, so it looked like a massacre. It was well done. Again, it's somebody thinking to give you a different view of the same thing we may have seen, you know, maybe five, ten years ago. But it was that's, different. That's the thinking there of Vince McMahon. Make it real. Make it real. Let me, uh, Seth Rollins return in the curb stomp to uh, uh, Bronson Reed. Did that surprise you? I didn't see that coming. Well, yeah, that was kind of a surprise. Uh, I like the way he came down. You know what I mean? Got himself, got himself over right there, right in there. So that was very good, man. Good to see Seth back, man. Yeah. But what do you think we're going to see in the future? You think we'll see Seth and uh, Bronson go at it? Well, we just don't know right now. You know, you, you, you can never predict professional wrestling. You know what I mean? Because they'll make a decision tonight and change it uh, in the morning. So, <laughs> so you just don't know. But that, I think that would be good. Seth and uh, Bronson, I think that would be be really good. If I were them, though, I'd try to get a little run out of uh, Jay Uso and Bronson, you know, before because yep. he just dropped the title. I'd, I'd run with them for a little bit because they got good chemistry. I saw them working together and I, I think that that, that's, that 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 would be good to me. Uh, and one more thing about that match that I noticed, uh, Braun Strowman uh, in the early part of the match seemed to have actually legit hurt his leg. I don't know if he was having a cramp or what, but he was having a difficult time moving on a, on his right leg, I think it was. Uh, he was having a real rough time. He couldn't do certain things. In fact, a couple of times you seen he, he tried to climb the ropes and he'd get back down. That wasn't planned, I don't think. I think his leg was legit hurt, and he was trying to get himself up those ropes. Uh, so yeah. I hope that hopefully uh, that's okay. I haven't heard of anything today about the possibility of an injury. Uh, it looked more like a muscle cramp, like he just got a bad thigh cramp right as he started wrestling. And well, those things are a bitch. Things happen, things happen out there. You just yep. don't ever know. But Brian understood, you know, hey, the show must go on.
Yeah. Uh, one more thing. Ron, Bronson, Bray. I, there's a lot of Bs going on here. You don't, how about some names without the Bs in it? Because they all sound alike now. So <laughs> when you got Ron and Bronson, you're like, that's too many things too close to each other. So that's it, Teddy. We're out of time. Uh, anything coming up for you we need to talk about? Uh, no, I'm just uh, kind of relaxing. Uh, maybe some dates here for the Caribbean. Uh, a little later, I'm waiting on my passport to come back. I got the old one. They sent it back to me. So anytime you get the old one back, any day, you know, you may get the new one. So if I do get the passport, I'll pass that information along. I'll be going over to the Caribbean. Uh, and uh, other than that, oh, I got something in uh, uh, West Virginia, too. I'm waiting on that, and uh, we'll just keep you posted. Yeah, I had somebody today ask if uh, we will be at uh, 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 WrestleCade this year. Um, Teddy and I, 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 go ahead. I haven't talked to Tim Woody yet. Um, wait, let's, I'll, <laughs> I'll see what kind of plan he's got uh, going. And uh, if I won't accept the deal, then I'll be there. But uh, like I said, we, I'll have to find out. I, like I haven't talked to him yet. Yeah, that is one of the things that we had actually talked about it before, and we we're like, nah, we were there just last year. Do we want to go back two years in a row? Uh, that was the thing that we were kind of concerned about. So, uh, yeah, but, but yeah, because you look at it, for, you know, you're there to you know to try to make money. So yep. you know, if you were there last year, you know, like basically some of the same people come every year. Correct. Correct. So uh, you know, you do pick up some new people too. You know, so like I said, if they've got you already, you know what I mean. How why would they spend money on you again unless they just want something fresh? Yep. So you always gamble when you do that. So uh, like I said, that's why you want to work out something with the promoters for a guarantee or something, so you'll know you got money even if yep. you don't make it. You know, so you know this is a game too. You got to know how to play it. Absolutely. And uh, I will be hosting, uh, along with Bill Actor, who will be back on next week's The Wrestling Time Machine, uh, I will be hosting the International Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Awards coming up uh, in the middle of this month of October. And it uh, should be a lot of fun there. So I'm looking forward to getting up to uh, Albany, New York and being there. This will be year number five or six. I think I've been hosting this event. So uh, I, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun and I uh, look forward to seeing everybody there in Albany. That's it. All right. We are out of time. This has been the Wrestling Time Machine. I'm your host, Mac Davis. We don't have Bill after along with us, as I mentioned, but Yay! he will be back next week. <laughs> and of course, the man who's so happy is Mr. WWE Hall of Famer, Teddy Long. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just messing around. Bill, we love you, man. We miss you. Holla, player. <laughs>